feel like shrugs should just be called hugs because they're basically a hug that you get to wear all day. Hello, my beautiful snuggle muffin. I hope you're having a wonderful day. I have a gorgeous, cozy shrug pattern to show you today, designed by Janica Carter called Gafflidio. Gafflidio is a Welsh word that means cuddles or embrace, and I think that is absolutely perfect because this shrug is basically like a hug that you get to wear all day. I love this pattern because it's super easy to make since it's made all in one piece. So if you're not a fan of seaming, this one is for you. And it's primarily just knits and pearls, so I know you can do it. You're gonna need six colors of DK weight yarn or about 900 to 1500 yards, depending on the size you choose. You're also going to need US size 7 needles or whatever size you need to get gauge. We chose to use our limited edition North DK yarn for this. All the colors are inspired by frosty, wintry goodness. It's a blend of merino and cotton, so it's perfect for all those snuggly, cozy items like shrugs, sweaters, and blankets. You'll find the link to the pattern and the yarn in the description box, or you can just head directly to expressionfiberarts.com. And while you're there, be sure to sign up for email updates. It is our beautiful, special, magical little place on the internet. You're gonna get exclusive coupon codes, free patterns, and lots of little goodies that you won't find anywhere else. To make this rug, you start here at one cuff and you work in the round. Then you're gonna start working flat, so you're working back and forth for the body. And then when you get to the other cuff, you work in the round again. I'm gonna do a teeny tiny version today showing you some of the stitches as well as the general construction so you can see just how easy it is to make. You're gonna start with a cast on of 36. For my mini version, I'm just gonna do 10. We're gonna begin by working the cuff in the round. For the first few rounds, you're just gonna knit one, purl one. Knit one, purl one. And you're gonna continue repeating that. Knit one. And you're obviously gonna have more stitches in this. Mine's super teeny tiny. But this is actually creating the ribbing for the sleeve cuff. Purl one, and just keep repeating that. Knit one, purl one, knit one, purl one. And you can see my first little row here. To work in the round, you can use double pointed needles, which are DPNs, or you can do the magic loop method, which is what I'm doing today. And if you would like some more information on how to work magic loop, just check out our video on that, which you'll find linked below. You can see my cute little cuff is starting to take shape. I've worked a few rounds, but you wanna make sure and follow the pattern instructions for the number of rounds that you need to work. Now that we've worked the ribbing for the cuff, we're gonna work an increase round to start the sleeve of the shrug. So to do that, we're just gonna knit front and back all the way around. To work a knit front and back, you're just gonna knit that first stitch, but leave it on your left hand needle. Swing your right needle around and go ahead and also knit into the back leg of that same stitch. So one stitch becomes two, and then you can drop it off of your left hand needle. Knit just like you normally do, but leave it on your left hand needle. Swing your right needle around and knit into the back of that same stitch as well, turning one stitch into two and then sliding it off. And you're just gonna, you're just gonna continue working these knit front and backs all the way around your round. To finish up the sleeves in the round, you're just gonna go ahead and do some knitting rounds with some increase rounds. The increases are super simple. You're just gonna do some make ones. When you do get to the make ones in the pattern, those are super easy to work. Here's how you do that. You're gonna wanna find the bar that's between your stitches and you just pick that up from front to back with your left needle and then you're gonna twist that so you don't end up with a hole and you're going to knit into the back of that stitch like so. So you just created a stitch out of that bar between your stitches. Then you continue knitting. Now here comes the fun part. We're gonna go ahead and start working flat. We're gonna be working flat in rows from this opening here all the way through the body of the shrug 
over to this side. When you're ready to start working from in the round to flat, super easy. Instead of continuing around, you just stop at the end of one of your rounds and you're just gonna turn around and work backwards, going back the way you came. So I'm just gonna go ahead and knit across this row. And if you are unfamiliar with that, a round typically refers to when you are working in the round and a row references when you are working back and forth. Let me go ahead and continue this row and you're gonna start to see the little sleeve open up and I'll show you in a minute what I'm talking about. So that was one row. Now we're gonna turn around because we're still working flat and we're gonna go ahead and go back the way we came because we're working flat. So I'll just go ahead and knit this round So here's what I've got so far. You can see my cute little cuff and then the part of the sleeve here that was worked in the round. And then here's the split where I started working back and forth in rows. So continue with the body rows. These rows will be incredibly fun and relaxing because you're just working stockinette and garter stitch, which just adds some fun texture. And you'll be changing colors as the pattern calls for or as you see fit. Once you reach the center of your shrug, you're gonna work the other half, which is just a mirror of the first half. When you reach the other sleeve, you're gonna start working in rounds again. When you're ready to go from knitting flat to knitting in the round again, it's nice and easy. You're just going to make sure that you are working in to the side of your knitting where the yarn is not attached. Let me show you what that looks like. So your working yarn is over here and we wanna connect them and start working in the round. So you start working into the side of your knitting where the yarn is not attached. And we have now connected our yarn in the round again, and we can continue to work the pattern as written. Now we're gonna work some knit sections with some decrease rounds to reduce the circumference of our sleeve. The decreases are super simple. You're just gonna do some knit two togethers. Then you're gonna rapidly decrease for the sleeve cuff by working knit two togethers all the way around. To work knit two togethers all the way around, just insert your right needle into two stitches and you knit them together. So that turns two stitches into one. And do that all the way around. Insert into two stitches, knit them, slide them both off. To work the cuff, we're just gonna do ribbing again, which is knit one, purl one around. And you're gonna repeat that for several rounds. Then you bind off and you are golden. So there you have it. That is how this pattern is worked. Thanks, my beautiful friend. Soak up this miraculous day. You get to experience it in a way that nobody else will. What a gift. I hope you're able to knit this shrug so that you feel wrapped in love and hugs all day. I hope you have a good one, and I'm gonna see you next week with the crochet version of this shrug. Bye. So now both of my little friends are super cute and stylin'. If you would love to see how to make this adorable miniature Kazaya pattern, you can check out our video on that.